Greetings! Welcome to Day of the Indie, and welcome to part two of the Introduction to Moho tutorial series. In this part of the series, you'll learn about layers and layer management. If you missed part one, which covered the interface and drawing tools, head over to dayoftheindie.com and go ahead and give it a watch. While you're there, grab a copy of the resources. Speaking of resources, open the file fred-part-01. Alternatively, if you have your own file that you've been working on from part one, feel free to open that. If you open the file and notice the tracing image is missing, don't panic. You can simply re-import it like so. Fantastic. With the tracing image back in place, it's time to start thinking about layers and layer management. When docked, the layers panel is located off to the bottom right. However, for this demo, I'm going to undock the layers panel to make it easier to see things. Okay, here's the undocked panel. Now, most of what I'm going to show you can be done in both the debut version and the pro version. There are a few exceptions, which I'll point out along the way. Before getting too far into drawing Fred, it's a good idea to plan things out. That doesn't mean you need to know everything, but you should have some idea of the layer structure. Right now, Fred's antenna exists on a single layer named layer one. Sure, you could add more Fred parts to this same layer, but eventually things would get all jumbled up, making it ridiculously difficult to get around the file. Not to mention, animating Fred would be rough. Using layers, you can avoid the rough and ridiculous part. You can also use layers to create some wicked cool effects, which I'll show you later in the series. Okay, so what can be done on the layers panel? Well, for starters, you can add a new layer. And you can see here, there are quite a few different layer types. You can duplicate an existing layer. You can create a reference layer, which is a pro only feature. You can delete layers. You can access layer settings. And you can create layer comps, also a pro only feature. Additionally, you can control the layer visibility and whether or not a layer will show up on the timeline. This is also a pro only feature. With this little arrow, you can access the quick settings window. You can also change the color of the layer like this. And of course, you can rearrange and resize things. Furthermore, you can modify which columns you want to see by right clicking and selecting or deselecting the items in the list. By the way, comments and tags are a pro only feature. Another pro only feature is the filter and search bar. You can use the filter and search bar to search for layers, or you can turn off filters altogether. Not a fan of filters? No worries. You can switch on column sorting and then sort the columns any way you'd like. The best part of that is the sorting will not affect the actual layer order. Some other things you can do include double clicking the layer to bring up the layer settings, single clicking the name to change the layer name, and right clicking the layer to access the context menu. That's the layers panel in a nutshell. Now it's time to add a few layers and get Fred organized. The first thing to do is split the antenna into two separate layers. The easiest way is to duplicate the existing layer. Then rename the layers to L-antenna and R-antenna. If you're wondering, or rather worrying, which is left and which is right, don't. Choosing left and right is a bit arbitrary, and I've seen it done both ways. Some people use screen side when designating left versus right, and some people use real life side for their left and right. Obviously, these are in direct contrast to one another. No matter which way you go, the key is to pick one and stick with it. For this demo, I'll be using screen side to avoid some confusion. But when I do turnaround work, I tend to use real life side so I can keep track of which side the body parts belong to. With the layers named, it's time to remove the left antenna from the right antenna layer and the right antenna from the left antenna layer. With the R dash antenna layer selected and the transform points tool selected, click on the left side antenna, which will select the shape. 
I'm going to zoom in to make it a little easier to see. I'm also going to move the layers panel out of the way and resize it. All right, that's a little bit better. Now select the shape. Then hit delete key to delete it from the canvas. Now select the left dash antenna layer, and this time click on the right side antenna, selecting the entire shape, and then delete it with the delete key. Fantastic. To make sure things were done as expected, toggle the visibility on and off like so. If it all looks cool, you're ready to move on. But before you do, here's a pro tip. If you're coming from an Adobe background like me, you might be thrown off with the way layers and shapes are selected. In Moho, you can only select shapes from the current layer. If you try to select shapes from other layers, it won't work. Okay, that's not entirely true. It will work if you know how to do it. To select a shape from a different layer, hold the Option key down and then right-click the shape. Keep an eye on the Layers panel and you can see how it automatically selects the layer where the shape lives. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because it was something that frustrated me in the beginning. But now it's time to get back to Fred. The next part is to draw Fred's head. Fred's head will go onto its own layer named Face. To create a new layer, click the New Layer button. As you saw earlier, you're presented with a rather lengthy list of options. In this case, Fred's face will be a vector layer, so go ahead and choose that. Then for the layer name, type face. Now select the Draw Shape tool and verify the shape is set to oval. Set the fill to be a nice shade of green, set the stroke to be black, and the width to be 4. Then draw the shape. You may notice there's a slight issue. The antenna shows up over the face. You can see this if you hide the tracing image, and remember that option's up here. While you could correct that by drawing things a bit differently, and in some cases you'll do just that, in this case, however, you'll want to adjust the layer order. To do that, grab the layer and drag it to where you want. In this case, the face should be the topmost layer, so go ahead and drag it up to the top. With layer ordering, it goes exactly how you might expect. Layers below other layers can be obstructed, and layers above other layers will be seen. Now that you have Fred's face and antenna in place, and in the proper order, it's time to place them into a group. Groups are a pro-only feature. That being said, pro users, click the new layer button, and this time select group from the list and name the layer head. Now select the other three layers, the face, the L-antenna, and the R-antenna. To do that, click the first layer, then hold the Shift key and select the last layer. This will select everything in between. In this case, there's only three layers and only one in between. If you wanted to skip layers, suppose you only wanted the top and the bottom one, you can hold the Command key down and individually add to your selection. With all three layers selected, drag them into the new head group layer. Fantastic! The group layer now contains some of Fred's head parts. Using this arrow right here, you can show or hide those parts. Keep in mind, though, this is just collapsing and expanding the group contents. It has no impact on layer visibility. If, however, you were to toggle that setting for the group, it will affect the layers inside the group. Of course, you can also control visibility on an individual layer basis. As long as the parent group is visible, it will work. So there you have it, the basics of layers and layer management, which brings us to the end of part two. In part three, you'll dive deeper into layers and into Moho. In the meantime, play with what you learned so far, add more layers, mess around with the drawing tools, and see if you can get the rest of Fred worked out on your own. If not, don't worry, because in the next video, you'll see exactly how this is done. Until next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a comment, let us know on Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're probably not doing it right. Thanks for watching.